Hi, this is Simon Momba with VMware, here to show you how you can achieve cloud smart with VMware cross cloud services. I'm going to illustrate that. So we'll start with your on-prem infrastructure, your on-prem cloud environments, your different data centers. We'll call those your private clouds. Now in your private cloud, likely vSphere, could be some vSAN, some NSX, maybe Cloud Foundation, hyper-converged infrastructure, more than one data center potentially, but we'll call this your private cloud. Next, we have our public cloud offerings, as you know. Lots of choice here. Public cloud, AWS, Azure, Oracle, Google, Alibaba Cloud, IBM Cloud. We're seeing actually customers adopt more than one of these public cloud offerings. Developers are looking for best of read services, cloud services. There may be a mergers and acquisitions situation, or you're trying to avoid vendor lock-in and starting to spread the cross across many public clouds. There's so many cloud options, cloud services available here in the public cl cloud space. This is where customers went cloud first. Uh, as soon as they built their application, where the data lives, is lives in the public cloud. So the hybrid cloud model is really becoming the standard operating model today for cloud services. But there's more than these options out there. We also have our VMware Cloud Partner Program, VCPP. VMware Cloud Partner Program. So they offer managed services. There's thousands of these across hundreds of countries, 150 plus countries around the world. Provide managed services, specialized services. Also, we've verified them on data sovereignty, as an example. DR services can be run in here, as an example, VDI, as an example. But data sovereignty, data residency, is something that we're seeing an increased adoption here using these VMware Cloud partners for. And we also have our edge computing and telco cloud. Edge and Telco. So manufacturing, energy, retail, you want to put the computing close to where the data is being produced, where those individuals are that need this computing infrastructure. So we've got edge computing there. And we also have a Telco offering, a Telco cloud offering for those Telco uh, solution providers. All right, so these lots of choice. And we're seeing customers adopt two or more of these cloud offerings. This is fantastic. It creates a great deal of innovation. We can really start now building applications and deploying data, accessing all the API services behind their public clouds. But what we're seeing customers get themselves into is an area of cloud chaos, where there's so much choice, it's actually starting to slow down the innovation because I'm having a problem securing, managing, operating all of this consistently across my cloud landscape. So. Again, we call this cloud chaos. And at VMware, this is exactly what we're trying to help you avoid. Go from cloud chaos to cloud smart. So how do we do it? We start by introducing the cross-cloud services portfolio. Think of it as an abstraction layer across these various cloud, across the complete cloud landscape. Now you're familiar with abstraction as we introduce this with virtualization. Uh, this is a new chapter of abstraction, but now across the multiple clouds you may have. So what's in this abstraction layer? This is where our cross-cloud services live. And so they include the application platform. And this is represented by Tanzu. We also have in here our cloud infrastructure. This is VMware Cloud on AWS, on Google, but it also includes VMware Cloud Foundation, hyperconverged infrastructure. Also DR services in here. So now we can do DR to vSphere to, into the cloud. And we also even have a ransomware as a service offering to protect you from ransomware here. 
And if there is a ransomware attack, we can fail you back successfully. So they're within the cloud infrastructure. Now we've got cloud management. ARIA, Skyline. So manage it about the workload. Once the workload is running, let's operate this. Make sure that we've got the right operating model across all these clouds. How's my governance? How's my cost? How's my security? I want to uncover events, turn those into insights. Cloud management in ARIA offices, offers ARIA Hub powered by ARIA Graph. So now I can have a single point of entry and I can federate these services together. Next, we have network and security. Carbon Black, NSX as an example. Now I'm going to move more to a zero trust network. I can apply my network policies across all my clouds and keep them there consistently. And if there is any issues, any drift, I can see that through ARIA and cloud, my, my cloud management. Carbon Black allows me to protect my devices, but protect the, the, the data before it hits these cloud environments. All right, so now we've got Anywhere Workspace. So this includes Horizon and Workspace ONE. So those end users with those devices, no matter where they are in the world, they can come in securely into this infrastructure and access the data, access the applications. And again, a zero trust network is what you're starting to apply here. So these are the capabilities with inside the cross-cloud services portfolio. So who has access to them? Who will benefit from this? Well, we'll start with our developers. Now this could be your platform engineering team, but the developers now can start modernizing their applications, starting to put applications in, in containers, or they can run their traditional VMware vSphere applications, they could do it side by side inside of vSphere, and we don't even need a software-defined data center. If they are using Tanzu, they've got things like Tanzu application platform to accelerate the modernization of the applications, giving them pre-packaged pre, uh, pre templates to really get started with mon the modernization effort uh, of these cloud native apps. Next, we've got our operations team. Now, this could be cloud ops. This could be security operations. Uh, this could be the team just managing the infrastructure across, across the landscape. But operations can come in now with a single point of view through ARIA Hub, as an example, and see how the, how the workload is running. Manage it, secure it as, as it needs to. Uncover events. And next, we have our security and compliance team. Applying uh, firewall rules, making sure micro-segmentation is in place with NSX, making sure that the governance is in place, there's no drift. So compliance teams can come in, in through this layer, and manage and make sure that everything is, is compliant, uh, no matter which cloud is, is uh, the data, the application's running on. And finally, our end users. And these could be anywhere in the world, on any device, coming in through this infrastructure, through this layer, and being able to access the data securely. Again, building a zero trust network mindset. All right, so these are the individuals who are going to take advantage of these various services. So what's the outcomes? So what can they do? Well, they've got the power, the developers, platform engineering team, have got the power to build and run their applications anywhere and do it securely. We're going to help them manage the cost and the compliance, and we can help accelerate that modernization effort. We can operate as the application is running, operate the various applications, the, the data, no matter where it is, again, operating the security, the compliance, and doing it from any device. We've got our access points, so we can be able to secure those access points as we come in, and our security layer is consistent across the cloud landscape. 
All right. So, with this in mind, where are we headed? If all these individuals, if these users, have access to these services within this abstraction layer to build, operate, and access secure their applications, their data, and do it consistently across any cloud, you're on the right path, on the right path to cloud smart. Cloud smart. All right. So, what does this give me? What are my some of my outcomes for this journey? Well, for a start, I can accelerate my application delivery. I can accelerate my cloud adoption, but I can also optimize my cloud. So I'm going to say optimize cloud. And I can finally empower my hybrid workforce to work from anywhere. Okay, so VMware Cross Cloud Services, a portfolio of services from VMware to help you build, operate, access, secure from anywhere, from any device, to move you from cloud chaos to cloud smart. Thanks for watching.